BP robots prepare a cap to sit on top of the leaking pipe. The idea is to siphon the escaping oil to a ship on the surface and take control of the damaged well. All this while the Obama administration takes control of the microphone. We need to be communicating with the American people uh, through my voice as a National Incident Commander, and uh, I think that that is the way we ought to be communicating. Senior administration officials tell CNN BP is now shut out of public briefings because of a lack of transparency. One official said the decision was made after BP tried to downplay the possibility that the spewing oil could turn into a gusher, blowing out 20 percent more during the latest move to cap the well. But a top BP executive says the two had been working well together. Uh, the government clearly presses us very hard to make sure we're responding as quickly as we can. We're moving things forward. We're applying all of the resources we need to apply. But I would stress that at the working level, those differences are usually quite small. Um, and, and in fact, I, I'm pretty pleased with the efforts so far. But joint okay, press conferences with one, BP uh, and the Coast Guard that have become a familiar source of bad news President in this Obama disaster are no more. Today, the Obama administration set the tone for BP accountability on two fronts. The president himself launching a special commission probe aimed at preventing future well. such spills. We've ordered BP to pay economic injury claims and we will make sure they deliver. And just hours later, Attorney General Eric Holder launches a criminal investigation into the spill. A statement from BP reads, BP will cooperate with any inquiry the Department of Justice will undertake, just as we are doing in response to the other inquiries that are already ongoing. Federal officials are now warning about what could be a long and oily summer in the Gulf of Mexico. This plan to put a cap on that leaking well will only capture part of the oil. Some oil, no one's sure how much, will continue to leak into those waters every single day until a relief well is drilled and that well is filled with cement. That will not happen until August. David Mattingly, CNN, New Orleans.